It could be shareholder value creation in the case of its autonomous public enterprise. The performance of these public enterprises in the era of liberalization is well presented under the title Performance of Public Enterprise in the Era of Economic Liberalization, which profiles the government policy on public enterprises, performance of public enterprises during the era of liberalization, salient features of functioning of the PEs, and the scope of improvement in their future in performance. As restructuring is one of the instruments through which these PEs can improve their performance, the process of restructuring and also the scope and modalities for restructuring of SLPEs at the state level, a case is referred for the state system. Here, two cases of the public interest that is ECI and Rastri Iskot Nigam Limited are also explained. The typology, classification, market structures, models for identifying the PEs for disinvestment or privatization are also discussed. The restructuring process should constantly examine the activity profile in financial and marketing terms, look at the organizational setup and make an effort to keep it level and mean. Revisit the financial paradigm, maximizing profits through leverage, differential pricing, strategic costing, quality improvement and growth in other incomes is also explained in the article. Increasing the market share through better customer relationship management and brand equity and going for mergers and acquisitions, joint ventures and collaborative arrangements to boost the market share. Right size the labor force, motivate employees, create superior employer-employee relationship and improve labor productivity. Technological upgradation and internalize it through a series of appropriate measures resulting in ideas, R&D practices and manufacturing systems are explained in this article. It is observed from the various research studies done in course of time that the performance of PEs depend on the good governing practices and regulatory framework. In view of this, the article's title, Privatization Challenges for Good Governance, a Case of India and Regulation in India, Conformance and Performance, makes an attempt to bring out the commonalities and distinguished features of both public sector enterprises at the central level and state level public enterprises in various states. It is examined in detail the regulation of power and telecom sectors. In doing so, an attempt is made to study the impact of regulation on the development of these two sectors in terms of growth of the service provided, trends in cost and tariffs, and their accessibility to the poor. The state of customer relationship is management is also studied to act, ascertain the act, aspect of co-value creation. A critical evaluation of PEs at the state level is made with special reference to Assam and Jammu and Kashmir in the paper cited state level public enterprises in Assam, performance problems and prospects, and problems of public enterprises in Jammu and Kashmir. In order to improve the performance of PEs, various management practices can also be implemented at the enterprise level. These are discussed in these articles. Towards this end, a management matrix is being designed. A study of this management matrix as related to PEs point out very clearly that in each area of management, there is a considerable scope to initiate further action and thereby pep up their performance. The government expects that the reforming public enterprises will lead to increase in profitability of public enterprises and their operating efficiency. Using the case study approach, it is tested whether the emphasized goal of improvement in performance was in fact achieved or not. It is further examined that the impact of disinvestment on profitability and operating efficiency in terms of sales efficiency, employment levels, etc. The volume finally made an attempt to evaluate the performance of fees through price trading method and uh, here various uh, cases from the central public sector and also one case of Sikkim Road Transport Corporation at the state level is considered for the study and they explained that a SWOT analysis was made to analyze the performance of these enterprises. The study finally suggests that restructuring should be done in all areas of management as like financial, marketing, human resource, operational, etc. The final concluding remarks of the volume are the reforming strategy should be specific and focused according to the characteristics of the PEs concerned. In the process of reforms, government commitment should be there. Moreover, the value of the enterprise should be assessed approximately prior to sale. The major objective of reforms should be proper allocation and efficient utilization of resources rather than broad policy objectives. 
Public enterprise reforming process is to be understood not merely in the structural sense of who owns an enterprise, but in the substantial sense of how far the operation of an enterprise are brought within the discipline of market force. Thank you so much. wanted to give great importance to public sector. 
but the kind of expectation that was there from the leaders who have started is perhaps it was not realized in the true sense. Over the years, number of public sectors were in red and uh, it was very disappointing from the point of view of their performance and efficiency. And by 90s, perhaps our decision makers, our planners, they realized that uh, they cannot go on with the kind of public enterprises that are there who are in red or who are incurring huge losses. It's not possible. Some of them became like wide elephants and then they have to give them up. And there are many theories, discussions that went on why the they use or why the census, etc., etc. A lot of debate and discussion has gone into that. But, but in the present era, I think it's very important that, as you have said, we have good public enterprises. Because the kind of population we have, the type of social economic background that is there, you know, millions and millions of people in India are still very, very poor. And we have the largest uh, poorer section in India. And for them, we can't expect much only from the corporate sector, private corporate sector. In fact, a lot of things have to come from the public enterprises. And public enterprises cannot deliver their goods if they are in their own mindset. They have to totally change. In what direction they have to change, I think they are well pointed out in this book. How they have to restructure, how they have to manage their finances, how they have to make best use of their resources, how their manpower, in fact, has to be very, very efficient. All those things are well discussed in this book. I'm happy that this book has been brought out in the right time, and I think uh, it will be very useful for all the managements of the public enterprises and also the academicians. And I wish that more such works must be brought out by Professor R. K. Mishra and the other faculty from the public enterprise. And we are really looking forward for a very good uh, uh, joint academic programs uh, from uh, the public IP here, Usman University and IP. In fact, we consider uh, <laughs> Professor Mishra as part of our faculty. <laughs> he has mixed so well with all of us and the number of our uh, Teachers have done their PhD here. So it, we can do the IP as part of those money and it is very much part of those money. And uh, from our side, we will extend all the cooperation and the necessary help to promote the interests of IP. Because the interests of IP are interests of Usmania University itself. So best wishes to all of you. And uh, once again, thank you for listening path that the government is implementing and uh, now I request uh, Shrimati Lalita to deliver the vote of thanks. To the academicians, students and research scholars to get involved in these kind of activities. We hope to have many more such occasions in your presence in IBE in future. I thank one and all. Dear Thank you.